வெல்கம் டு ஆல் ஸோ மெனி பீப்புள் ஆர் வாட்சிங் மை வீடியோ லெக்சர் ஆன் வேரியஸ் டாபிக்ஸ் ஆன் அ கெமிஸ்ட்ரி இட் கிவ் மீ அ லாட் ஆஃப் என்கரேஜ்மெண்ட் ஐ ரெக்வஸ்ட் யூ டு ஆல் ஐ ரெக்வஸ்ட் யூ டு ஆஃப்டர் வாட்சிங் மை வீடியோ லெக்சர் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் லைக் த சப்ஸ்கிரைப் த சேனல் லைக் த லைக் அண்ட் ஷேர் த வீடியோஸ் மெனி ஆஃப் மை வீடியோஸ் அதர் தன் தமிழ்நாடு they 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 requested me to uh, put the video lecture uh, only on english so i had decided uh, to make the video lectures on uh, two types one on uh, totally english and other on a uh, other on uh, both english and uh, mixture of both english and tamil in today's lecture just uh, i am going to discuss on the mass spectrometry uh, in the Uh, thumb line itself i have given it's a wonderful tool so comparing to any other technique in organic spectroscopy this mass spectrometry technique is very useful in uh, predicting the structure of the compound or the molecular weight of the compound uh, once you know the know the molecular weight one can find out the molecular formula and this molecular formula from the molecular formula one can uh, uh, find out the structure by using the other data or from uh, other techniques okay so uh we will see what is the learning outcomes uh, of this lectures uh, the basics of in our mass spectrometry the uh, instrumentation the theory involved the what is mean by mass spectrum and the difference between the molecular ion peak and the uh, base peak and the important feature of molecular ions and what is mean by but are stable peaks okay so the what is the highlights of a uh, uh, mass spectrometer so we need so for for other uh, instrumentation or other uh, spectroscopy we need a, a large amount of sample in terms of milligrams but here only few micrograms is uh, enough to uh, record the sample so with the use of very small amount of sample a molecular weight of the compound can be accurately determined and uh, not like uh, the other instrumentation method like uh, uv visible nmr and ir there is no interaction between the electromagnetic radiation uh, and the, the matter so here uh, only uh, simple uh, the bombardment of the electrons on the molecules uh, uh, takes place and it is a plot of mb is a z value on the relative abundance of the fragments uh, gives the information about the structure of the molecules or you follow my point so it is not the any interaction between the electromagnetic radiation which is nothing but the light so in the usable we have the usable light and in the ir we have the infrared light or the the nuclear magnetic resonance we have the radio waves no need for that here it is only the electron beam of high energy is needed to bombard the, the molecule and in the previous case we can recover the sample in the in this case we cannot recover the sample that is a disadvantage in the mass spectrum so the technique a small amount of substance as already i have told uh, only a few milligram microgram of the uh, sample uh, uh, is needed is introduced in the mass spectrometer where it is bombarded by the high energy which is of 70 electron volt uh, electron volts uh bombarded uh, the molecule is bombarded with the high uh, beam electron electron so that uh, it removes the valence electron that is a electron present on the uh, the uh, valence cell it is removed uh, a producing a cation radical cation radical so m plus electron which gives a m plus dot uh, that means only one uh, radical electron is removed so the molecular ion peak which is given by uh, which is also known as the parent ion which is given by m plus dot okay so this uh, radical cation uh, being highly energetic highly energetic because a, a high beam of electron just knock off the the uh, knock off the uh, molecule uh, the, the molecule so that it is highly energetic so depending upon the stability of the molecular ion it can uh, uh, pa- travel through the mass analyzer or it can undergo fragmentation to give the uh, the fragmentation to give the daughter ions suppose we consider this uh, molecule as a parent ion the para, uh, the daughter ion is uh, m1 and the m2 so two types of uh, uh, parent ion can be formed the m1 plus that is a m1 may be the cation uh, radical and the m2 m2 is the normal the neutral radical 
and here the m m to m1 may be the neutral radical m2 m2 plus is the, the cation radical okay and that these fragments are allowed to uh, pass through a magnetic field where they are deflected in a through a curved pipe according to the mass per per is a mass uh, per is a value okay so uh, here the uh, only the cations are uh, gets deflected not the the neutral fragments so the neutral fragments are just uh, lost inside the the pipe by bombarding on the uh, the pipe walls itself and the only the uh, the uh, cationic radical cationic radical that uh, 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 travels a uh, uh, mass analyzer and recorded according to their mass by z value among most of the cases the z equal to 1 so that m by z is equal to the m which is a molecular mass of the ion okay so let us see the the instrumentation the mass spectrophotometer is designed to perform the following functions another first one the sample injector we have the sample in injector the ion source and the the mass analyzer it is the mass analyzer is a, uh, is a mass analyzer is a, uh, with a, uh, is at a, a high vacuum and uh, we have the ion detector and uh, amplifier and the recorder so uh, the first function is to vaporize the compounds of a varying volatility volatility and to produce ions from the neutral compounds in the vapor phase and to separate the ions according to their mass to charge ratio and to detect direct the ions and producing the corresponding signals so we are injecting the sample with the use of the syringe and in the ionic chamber we have the tungsten filament and this tungsten filament that gives when we apply the high voltage that produces the electrons of a high energy of a 70 electron volt that bombard on the molecular ions performing the uh, the uh, molecular cations that uh, come away from the ionic source and we have the field free reagent and it is subjected to the uh, magnetic field and uh, depending upon the m by z ratio uh, they are separated the heavy ion they are deflected uh, very low uh, compared to the light ion they are deflected uh, much okay and uh, that give they are separated uh, the, uh, the detected by the, uh, uh, the detector and recorded and uh, amplified and uh, recorded so sample injector the sample uh, ranging from to from minus 4 to minus 6 uh, gram is directly introduced into the ion beam source and uh, this method is applicable for uh, of these those common which are sufficiently volatile right volatile volatile are it must be soluble and uh, highly volatile okay uh, the, uh, and uh, it gives a, a molecule the gas phase that is the main condition for the sample the molecules must be in the gas phase so the second is the ion source the ion source converts a molecule into the gas ions the most common way of producing ions involves a bombarding the molecule ions by the with the beam of energetic electrons from a uh, ion gun so a milli a few milligram of the substance is produced as vapor in the uh, in the source at the opening pressure of a 10 to the power minus 6 mm okay so the vapor is uh, allowed to pass through the slit a into the ion chamber it is then bombarded by a stream of electrons produced from the tungsten film as already i have discussed okay since the energy of the bombarding electrons is uh, around 17 electron volt they do not uh, not only do uh, uh, do not uh, knock off the electrons but uh, uh, it is uh, a highly energetic uh, energetic enough to uh, make the molecule into fragments uh, that is uh, uh, the daughter ion is formed from the molecular ions and uh, let us see the uh, how the separation takes place in the uh, the analyzer so uh, in order to explain that we need some theory so the, in the magnetic analyzer uh, uh, they are separated and uh, we have the because of the the acceleration uh, given by the given by the uh, given in the ionic source uh, it uh, occurs the energy of a uh, kinetic energy of half m e square now uh, it has to repel the the potential energy associated with the molecule which is given by zb 
ஸோ இந்த மாலிக்குள்ள கெட் ரி கெட் ரிட் ஆஃப் த அயனிங் சோர்ஸ் த பொட்டன்ஷியல் எனர்ஜி ஈக்குவல் டு த கரண்டிக் எனர்ஜி தட் இஸ் இசர்பி ஈக்குவல் டு ஆஃப் எம்இ ஸ்கொயர் பை ரீ அரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட் வி ஸ்கொயர் ஈக்குவல் டு டூ இசர்பி பை எம் ஓகே தட் தட் இஸ் அ ஃபஸ்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் தட் இஸ் அ ஃபஸ்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் அண்டு தட் இஸ் இந்த தட் இஸ் அ ஃபேட் இன் த ஃபஸ்ட் ஃபீல்டு ஃப்ரீ த ஃபஸ்ட்டு த மாலிக்குள் பிஃபோர் என்டரிங் இன் டு த மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்ட் ரீஜன் வென் இட் இ என்டர்ஸ் த மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்டு தயான் ஸ்டேக்ஸ் த சர்க்குலர் பாத் அண்ட் எனி ச மாலிக்குள் விச் ஸ்டேக் த சர்க்குலர் பாத் இட் ஹேஸ் அ டூ ஃபோர்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் அ சென்டிஃபிகல் ஃபோர்ஸ் அண்ட் த சென்டிபிடல் ஃபோர்ஸ் இன் ஆர்டர் டு கீப் த சர்க்குலர் சர்க்குலர் ஜேர்னி சர்க்குலர் ஜேர்னி ஓகே தட் இஸ் அ சென்டிஃபிகல் ஃபோர்ஸ் which is given by me square by r which is equal to centripetal force which is which is equal to z bb where r is the radius of the circular path and b is the magnetic field and we uh, by using this equation we can uh, get the uh, v value and uh, squaring that we get the v square equal to z square b square r square by m square so this equation 2 by the equation 1 and the equation 2 they both uh, uh, equating the v square value so by comparing the equation 1 and 2 we can get uh, m by z equal to b square r square by 2b okay so from the above equation it is clear that at a given magnetic field okay field strength and accelerating voltage the ions m, m by z follows a circular path right uh? okay magnetic field strength um accelerating voltage that, that, that depending upon the magnetic field strength and the accelerating voltage the ions of m by z follows a circular path and the ions of having various m by z uh, and reach a connector amplified and recorded okay are you clear now and uh, the mass spectrum can be obtained by two ways we can obtain the mass spectrum by two ways so first one is uh, the magnetic scanning that is uh, by changing the uh, magnetic field uh, by keeping the voltage constant and the second one is the voltage scanning by changing the voltage at the constant the constant magnetic field so they by by two ways one can uh, uh, take the mass spectrum here we have the limitations here we have the limitation that is a uh, sensitivity sensitivity means uh, uh the uh, how uh, how sensitive to separate one fragment to the other fragment suppose we have the two fragments one fragment of 900 uh, mos and other fragment of 1000 mos and uh, it is uh, the uh, difference is very very small the difference is very very small and uh, this instrument cannot uh, differentiate uh, these two fragments uh, so the sensitivity is very less uh, it is uh, uh, the it is very uh, less sensitive that is 1 divided by 7500 times less sensitive this instrument and uh, it cannot differentiate uh, the m plus ion with the uh, and uh, 2m 2 plus ion okay so it is less sensitive instrument and we have to go for the the, uh, the instrument of a uh, high sensitive high sensitive that's a uh, double focusing mass spectrophotometer double the double force focusing mass spectrometer photometer see here what we are going to going to is uh, there the, the, they the same thing is going to happen here but the difference is apart from the the magnetic analyzer we are going to introduce uh, the the electrical uh, static electrostatic analyzer before the uh, the molecular ion enters to the the magnetic analyzer so we have the ionic uh, uh, source slit and ionic chamber and uh, ionic chamber and uh, the first uh, the, the uh, uh, field free region and uh, the uh, we have the electrostatic analyzer the second field field region and then the magnetic analyzer uh, finally we have the the collector and then the recorder so between the uh, uh, electrostatic analyzer and the magnetic analyzer we have a, a slit a small slit uh, this electrostatic analyzer uh, uh, focusing the uh, particular molecule uh, uh, molecular ion to pass through the slit uh, pass through the slit uh, and uh, it uh, just uh, arrange the uh, the molecular ion to go one by one uh, through the slit uh, 
அண்டு இந்த மா மேக்னட்டிக் அனாலிசர் கண் செப்பரேட்டு செப்பரேட்டு எம்பை த மாலிகுலன் வித் ஹை ரெசல்யூஷன் ஸோ த எலக்ட்ரிக் ஃபீல்டு எஃபெக்ட்ஸ் வில் காஸ் ஃபோக்கஸிங் ஆஃப் த அயான்ஸ் பை பேசிங் பிளேசிங் எ ஸ்லிட் பிட்வீன் த எலக்ட்ரோ ஸ்டாட்டிக் அண்ட் த மேக்னட்டிக் அனாலிசர் So this instrument is called double focusing mass spectrophotometer and this instrument has a high resolving power than the single beam analyzer. And the fourth common in the mass spectrum is the ion detector. The ions which are separated in the mass, the magnetic field or mass analyzer are detected and measured either electrically. That means the, the abundance of the molecular ion is directly proportional to the electrical field that is produced or photographically. And they are amplified by a photo multiplier tube and recorded by, by using a scanning oscillograph. Okay. So this is for the instrumentation. And uh, let us see what is mean by mass spectrum. So the mass spectrum is a, a plot. A plot of MBZ in the x-axis and the OE axis is a relative abundance. Relative abundance. So the molecule is we have in the mass spectrum one can get the two information apart from the other fragments uh, on the molecule and peak and the base peak. So the molecular and peak, it, uh, it is produced by the, already I have told, uh, it is produced by the, the bombardment of the uh, molecules by the high beam, high energy uh, electrons, uh, high energy electrons. Uh, and uh, this molecular ions, uh, we call it a parent ion, it is, uh, so uh, it can be seen in the high molecular weight region, that is highest molecular weight region and the base peak. The base peak is not the not necessarily the molecular ion peak. The it has the 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 highest intensity. The base peak is the highest the peak of highest intensity. The the peak of highest intensity we we have given the uh, uh, the relative abundance of hundred percentage hundred percentage. So the other fragments uh, are uh, given the intensity compare uh, compare with the the base peak. Compared with the base peak. See, not necessarily the base peak, the molecular peak, ion peak be the base peak. So they may be different. They may be different. So the some cases the base peak, the molecular peak may be the base peak depending upon the stability of the molecular. If the molecular is more stable, the molecular peak may be the base peak. Okay? Base peak. So let us see the important features of molecular. Important features of molecular. So, the mass of the parent ion uh, gives a molecular mass of the sample. As already I have told, it is important to, to, to locate the molecular ion at the high mass region of the spectrum. So, in the spectrum, you go for the high mass region and uh, that peak uh, that shows the molecular ion. So, the, uh, the, uh, the relative abundance of the molecular ion peak uh, that depends upon the stability of the parent ion. In some cases, the parent ion peak is not formed. In some cases, uh, the parent ion peak is not at all formed. Okay, that means uh, the rate of uh, decomposition of the parent ion is too high uh, for its detection. So the okay, the rate of decomposition of the parent ion increases uh, with the molecular size uh, of the in the homological series. So we have the small molecule and the larger molecule. If the carbon number increases, the fragmentation also increases. The smaller ion which undergo fragmentation uh, with a uh, lesser extent than the, the, the higher, uh, higher homologous series, higher uh, molecule of the homologous series. So in general, the relative height of the parent peak decreases in the following order. That is aromatic. Aromatic compounds have the molecular peak of higher intensity than the conjugated olefins. I have given the, the comparison. The aromatics has the, the high intense molecular peak than the conjugated olefins, than the alicyclics, than the unbranched hydrocarbons, than the ketones, amines, esters, ethers, carboxylic acid and the branched hydrocarbons and the least one is the alcohols. The ketones, alcohols, amines, esters, they undergo alpha cleavage through for, for fragmentation, for, the, for, for producing the, the daughter ions. Okay, the aromatic compounds they give the, the intense peak. Intense peak. So, well, uh, I can list out the various uh, uh, 
points of the features of the molecular ions. The molecular ion peak in aromatic peaks is a relatively much intense due to the presence of pi electron system. So aromatic in the aromatic system we have the six pi electron systems and so that they can produce a high intense molecular ion peak. And the same thing argument we can put the unsaturated compounds give more intense peak than the the saturated or the cyclic molecule. If you take the saturated compound, we can compare with the uh, compare the 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 straight chain compound with the the branched compound. The straight chain compound are more stable stable than the branched compound because the branched compound the possibility of uh, undergoing branching of the branched compound is very high compared to the the unbranched uh, unbranched compound that the straight chain compound. For example, if we take the uh, uh, N-pentane and the neopentane. Neopentane is a uh, uh, highly branched one than the N-pentane which is a, a straight chain compound. This uh, neopentane molecular ion intensity is very low compared to the, the N-pentane compound. And uh, the absence of molecular ion peak in the spectrum means that the compound is highly branched or the tertiary alcohol. Okay, so if it is a tertiary alcohol, the uh, the molecular ion peak, the tertiary alcohol or the highly branched uh, compound, uh, there is an absence of molecular ion, absence of molecular ion. And uh, the primary and the secondary alcohol, that, that shows a less intense molecular ion, less intense molecular ion. Okay. And the next one is the, the comparing the conjugated and the unconjugated olefins. The conjugated olefins uh, that shows a high intense molecular peak than the uh, unconjugated unconjugated olefins okay because uh, the conjugated olefins uh, are more stable than the unconjugated olefins so stable means uh, they can uh, just travel through the uh, mass analyzer and uh, detect in the detector okay and recorded okay and uh, if we take the ar aromatic compound uh, the intensity of the molecular and of the aromatic compound that depends upon the substituent for example, if you uh, take the substances like uh, NS2, the amino group or the OHA, the hydroxyl group or OR group, uh, which has a, uh, which decrease the ionization potential of the aromatic compound. That means uh, it needs uh, um, uh, electrons of uh, low energy to ionize. So, if it is so, the, uh, the molecule, the ion has uh, less energy so that uh, the chance of undergo fragmentation is very low very low and it travels all over the, uh, the mass analyzer and the recorder uh, with a high intensity high intensity and if the uh, if in the aromatic compounds uh, it has a substituent like a nitro and the cyano then the ionization potential is very high and we have we need a, a, a beam of electron of high energy and uh, the molecule on uh, aqueous high energy and there is a chance of uh, uh, that uh, molecule undergo fragmentation and its intensity in the in in, according, in the spectrum is very low spectrum is very low and uh, finally it is uh, there are number of uh, other features uh, of a molecular ion uh, i have highlight, highlighted uh, only uh, some important features and the, finally the uh, one can find out the presence of the isotopes of uh, uh, various atoms so especially we i can take uh, the chloro and the bromo bromo chloro and the bromo so m is a molecular ion suppose it, it is a 100 the m plus 1 is the 101 and n plus 2 is a 102 okay if it is a chlorine the isotopic abundance of a C, cl35 and the cl37 is a 3 is to 1 and m, m plus 1 m plus 2 ratio is a 3 is to 1 and for the bromine it is a 79 the 81 the uh, the abundance is only is to one uh, abundance is a, uh, the 50 percentage into 50 is, is to 50 percentage and the relative abundance is only is to one and uh, let us go to into the uh, the peculiar uh, uh, peaks that is a metastable peaks so the meta the word uh, the metastable means uh, it is in between the the molecule which undergo fragmentation within the ionic source and the, the molecule which forms a, the molecular cation the, the parent cation and uh, it uh, has a, it is a considerably stable to travel all over the, the mass analyzer and uh, find out, finding uh, find out in the, the detector and recorder 
and this metastable ions uh, is in between that. That means uh, the ions uh, source uh, in the ion source depending upon the lifetime of the ions they can become in two ways. If the lifetime is very less than minus 10 to the power of minus 5 seconds, they decompose rapidly and completely in the ion source and never reach the collector. The first case. And the uh, second case, the ex other extreme case is if the lifetime is of the ions is longer than 10 to the power of minus seconds, yes, they survive long enough to reach the collector and record as usual. So, two extreme cases only decomposes within the ionic source, within the ionic source, and the second one is that they can they are very stable to travel all over the mass analyzer and reach the recorder, and the intensity is very high, very high. And in some molecular ions have the intermediate lifetime in between the 10 to the power of minus 5 uh, uh, very, uh, higher than 10 to the power of minus 5 and uh, very less than 10 to the power of minus 5 intermediate lifetime they, so that they leave the ionization chamber intact. Okay, So they leave the ionization chamber intact uh, as a m plus dot Okay, and uh, also it uh, travels uh, through the uh, electrostatic analyzer uh, they uh, in these two, two for the first field region and the electrostatic analyzer during the this travel they do not undergo any fragmentation but uh, it undergoes fragmentation only in the <coughs> second field region and they are called uh, the, uh, the metastable or the uh, ions or the peaks or you follow my point they do not undergo the fragmentation in the first field region or the electrostatic analyzer, but only in the second field region before arriving the arriving the uh, magnetic analyzer. Magnetic analyzer. Okay. So, what are the characteristics of the metastable peak? They do not uh, necessarily occur at the integral uh, uh, m by z value. That means uh, it will not occur as uh, 50, 51, 53, uh, 90, 91, 100, 102, etc. It will occur only at fraction uh, 64.5 or uh, 78.2 or uh, 80.6 and so on. And number two character is uh, they, these peaks are much broader than normal peaks. So they, they will not uh, show a, a short peaks that show a, 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 a broader peak. And the, the relay, they, they are of relatively low abundance. So, let us see the theory. Uh, normal ionic uh, molecular ion, they form the M plus uh, to the M1 plus uh, taking place at the source. And the M1 plus travel all over the uh, mass analyzer and uh, uh, detected by the detector and recorded and uh, uh, recorded normally. And metastable peaks, the fragmentation, the fragmentation occurs in the second field region. As already I have told, the M1 plus that gives a M1 plus and M2, which is a neutral, which is a neutral. Okay. Since it is occurred in the second field region, now the kinetic energy is shared between the charged ion, the M1 plus and the neutral M2 ion. So that the daughter ion M1 plus will have the less kinetic energy given by N2 by M1 electron volt. Or you follow my point. Now see here it is uh, uh, it is uh, the if it travels as a uh, uh, M1 plus okay without any uh, formation of a neutral uh, radical okay there is no sharing. But uh, here uh, the neutral ion is formed. Uh, though it will not detected by the uh, detector, but it can share the kinetic energy uh, from the uh, the cationic radical. Cationic radical. Now the kinetic energy of the cationic radical decreases. Cationic radical decreases by m2 by m1 electron volt. And the the neutral particle of mass, okay, which is given by the capital law m1 minus m1. That is m2 equal to M1 capital M1 minus M1 will have kinetic energy equal to M1 minus M1 okay divided by capital M1 electron volt. Since the kinetic energy of the M1 decrease decrease, it will not appear in the normal position in the spectrum, but occur at okay in a different position, which is given by the equation M star, which is a metastable uh, the uh, notation for the metastable peak 
which is equal to m1 square small m1 square divided by capital m1 okay so that is the equation of the metastable stable speaker so we have the the diagram here the first field field region and the electrostatic analyzer here and the second field field region where the metastable peak is formed metastable peak is formed in the second field region and it will not appear in the normal position as like in the as like the normal molecular ion molecular ion for example we take the tholian that shows a strong peak uh, peak at uh, at m by z equal to 91 and uh, m by z equal to 65 so the uh, the metastable peak position can be calculated as follows the 65 square by 91 which is equal to 46.4 actually which is a fraction it is not the integral value actually we observe a broad peak at 46.4 okay so you just uh, theoretically calculate the uh, metastable peak and if you are able to find the 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 same peak uh, uh, value at the spectrum and uh, one can conclude that a metastable peak is formed so that uh, that is uh, the way one can confirm the the formation of the metastable peak i hope you can uh, understand uh, whatever we discussed about the basic of the uh, mass uh, mass spectrum in the part 2 i have uh, i will be discussing on the isotopic peaks uh, nitrogen rule and uh, how one can calculate the molecular formula from the molecular weight and so on and uh, if you are having any doubt you can uh, um, uh, give it in the comment section uh, already i have told uh, i request you to subscribe the my channel and uh, like the videos and the share the videos uh, and uh, i will uh, give two types of uh, video lectures only from Uh, pure english and uh, other is of uh, a combination of uh, the uh, tamil and the english which will be helpful for the the students in the tamil nadu mm. thank you very much thank you at all